If you have an elderly individual in your life or someone that is post-surgery or anyone that is just dealing with issues with their movement, for their bathroom experience it may be essential to install a toilet seat riser. And that's the situation I find myself in, which is why I ordered this. Now, as this toilet seat riser says, it raises the toilet seat a height of three and a half inches. And so that will allow the bathroom experience of this individual to be far more comfortable as they let go of their bodily fluids. Now, as you can see, this is also padded and has removable arms for safety and convenience. But they seem to have spelled convenience, C-O-N-V-I-E-N-C-E. -E. I guess it's so convenient that you don't need a couple letters in the word. And then it also says it is a 300 pound weight capacity. So when you do invest in a toilet seat riser, make sure to think of that when thinking of the individual you're installing it for. Uh, and if they're above 300 pounds, then finding an appropriate toilet seat riser. Or just shoving their giant body outside so they can defecate or urinate in your yard. Well, uh, anyway, now that I feel like I'm Vanna White, let's go ahead and have me show you how to install a toilet seat riser. You'll notice that the riser below it has uh, an indicator for each arm to tell you which arm it is and should be connected to. So here's the L for the left side and then the left side arm. And then you'll go ahead and just push those through to connect them. <clears throat> and there you can see it's connected. Now you'll want to unlock the current toilet seat and remove that, which I've already done. You're going to then, with a screwdriver and possibly a pair of pliers, uh, remove what was the screw into the toilet seat and the washer underneath. And the washer I was just removing with my hands, though you could, as I mentioned, use a pair of pliers. Now I'm doing this other ones. Sorry, trying to not get in the way of your view, but as you can see at this point, it's really, really handling the washer I did all manually. Only in certain situations where it's needed would you really need pliers, but for this whole uh, installation, really all that's necessary is a Phillips screwdriver. Now, very gunky here, my hands are gross. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little time to clean this up. You should as well, since very rarely do we remove our toilet seats where all this gunk has formed up. Now that we've cleaned up the toilet, the toilet seat riser is ready to be put onto the toilet, and the toilet seat riser provides you with new screws, washers, and wing nuts. Now go ahead and place the seat riser aligned onto the holes. I was so disgusted by the old toilet seat that I went ahead and bought a new one, and now I've aligned that on top of the seat riser in line with the holes as well. With the white washer provided through the screws, and as you see here, put each screw for each hole of the toilet seat. These washers and wing nuts will be tightened on the other side of the screws underneath the toilet. Well, I can tell you there's definitely a 170 pound weight limit on being able to get into the area underneath this toilet uh, to put the wing nut and washer properly on. God, I gotta tell you, uh, if Cirque du Soleil made a version of it for toilets, uh, I've just went through and experienced it. Probably filled with the music of the Bloodhound Gang. God help me. Using a flathead screwdriver, I went ahead and tightened both of these screws Underneath that washer and wing nut helps to tighten it as well, making it very strong and now able for a butt up to 300 pounds to be able to sit on and enjoy. Wow, I've never actually sat on a toilet where my feet don't have to touch the floor. Well, that's it. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please do like it, comment below with any thoughts or questions you may have, and subscribe to the channel. Well, that was a really exhausting experience, so might as well go ahead and take a number two right now, as if I were on the Raptor at Cedar Point.